Today we're going to talk about parasitic leaks on our batteries. This is an old 1977 white Freightliner, like a lot of old trucks and cars and even some newer ones. They will leak, leach off power from the batteries when they're shut off. Here's a switch I put onto the battery box. Come on over, we're going to take a look. This on off switch that I got from a local truck trucking parts company. Here's the part number. And there's the switch as you can see. It's a heavy duty one. And look inside these cables here. I took it to a company called Dynalite Battery that cut the cables and put those wire lugs on so I could attach them onto the shutoff switch. So you got two connections two connections right here gone to the starter and solenoid side and then the other two on this side right here gone to to the batteries Let's see hooked up to the battery series so you got the battery series on the left then the starter side going down there to the summer up there and all that mess to the starter this truck going back a little bit this truck here has got two sets of cables which is kind of unique it's it's Freightliner setup uh, it's got two sets of cables once one set goes to the starter directly and then the other set comes back up to for power to uh, charge the batteries up off the solenoid why it's set up that way I don't know so it's very difficult to figure out how to set this up because you have a lot of heavy cableage going down into there, into that shutoff switch. But I run them on the same side, they're all positive. All my positives are cut and put into there, except for this one here that's a link, linked in. Now the negative side is untouched, so you just have to do one side. You can do, you can do the positive side or negative. Some say it's gotta be on the negative, but According to Dynalite battery, they suggest the positive. So it's just a matter of choice. Now also, this truck's been sitting a while, and it's been off. And as you can see, the batteries are all holding at 1232 even. And since they're hooked in a series, they will always be even, because they're all linked together. So they are holding strong, and this truck's been sitting there for about a about a week shut off. But if I had this, if, here let's see the switch. But if I had this thing on, and forgot to shut it off, okay, on to me. If I forgot to shut it off, it would draw the batteries down to nothing within about a day. So it's something you want to be mindful of every time you shut your truck off, whether you take your fun truck over to a show, or to say go get a pizza somewhere at a Home Depot, whatever it is. Make sure, I always make sure I shut it off to sustain a good habit. There it's off. So I hope this helps you out. That's to help stop your problem of a parasitic leak and to show you how to get the cables cut and attached. Thank you and God bless.